I'm trying to fit as much in this thumbnail as I can and it's failing. Hello and welcome to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a VidCon haul. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I went to VidCon and it was actually my very first VidCon. I just remember watching all of these VidCon haul videos or like VidCon videos just because I was so curious about like what it was like to go and genuinely they just give you like tons of stuff. You seem to be able to go into these like lounges. There was like Amazon, TikTok. There was so, so many things to do. And it would just be filled with like free food, free drink, free stuff to take. I was not shy, but a lot of the stuff that I brought back, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna use that. So one of the very, very first things that we did when we got there was they had this YouTube shorts drive through thing, which was incredible. And you could like pick a snack that you wanted with like a slush and you got a really cool cup. And like the experience was really, really cool. I am going to make a YouTube short about it at some point. You get this like receipt when you go through the drive through Cal and I got the exact same thing. Dreamo Dreams as our snack. And then our slushy was cherry. So we picked these. These are the O Dreams. Gabe the Hunters. How fun. I actually should do this at some point. And it says Mind Fresh for you. At the top it says YouTube Short. They're very green. I think maybe they got squashed in the case on the way back. But all of these were like Dream Space. Like they're all crushed. But trust me, they actually did look like how it's meant to look on the box. They're all just like facing the wrong way. And they're kind of crushed. But... Oh wait, is that one? Oh my god, wait, is that the line? Oh my god, yeah, that's one! My only thing is, when you eat these, like, maybe the milk is gonna turn green. Ingredients, green apple flavor. It says, warning, remove mask before eating. The slush itself came in this really cool YouTube shorts drive-through. Little, like, cup thing. Came through sipping, trending now, you. No crumbs left. The snacks with a K are immaculate. And then we have looking like a snack. The really fun thing about like all these like creator rooms like the TikTok one etc etc like every day it kind of changes so it would be the same look but it would change the kind of activity if that makes sense. When we first walked in they gave us this bucket hat and says TikTok. I have so many bucket hats. I will never have to buy a hat again. And then this really cute tote bag that says TikTok creator atrium. If you know me I have no tattoos like genuinely none but my boyfriend has so many. In the TikTok bit they actually had like someone doing fake tattoos you know by ink box. So they last for, like two weeks and they were all really really fun like meme things. Mine's kind of coming off now but you can kind of see it. Material girl with a um, bag with the TikTok logo on and going like bloop and they're also wearing cowboy boots which I love and then this one is kind of blurry now but it says me and then a happy and crying face and empath which honestly I kind of really like this I got this little bracelet which says material girl it's got like the little tiktok logo on it and I just thought this was so cute you could pick a graffiti style and then basically on like a top that says tiktok on it it's kind of just a plain white top Cal went with this like one that says CPK. And then I went with this one, same vibe, but with my name on it, which I thought was adorable. I love stuff like that. I feel like none of this stuff is gonna be in any order. I just feel like, I don't know. And even when I'm filming it now, I'm like, who cares? But I don't know, I did, you know what I mean? Like I did. I actually don't know if I was meant to take one of these. I really don't know. So, um, so they had these cups plastic cups that they were just giving you the cocktails out of and if you know me I love anything for a memory you know what I mean like this you know I'll just drink some water or I'll make juice in this or something and I'll be like oh what a lovely memory of my first VidCon or you know when you have like friends over and you're like having pre-drinks and they're just like oh can I use that cup and it's like yeah and it's like oh what a fun cup and you'll come to think of it now I think that came from my parents because we'd always have like cups from around the world you know like in the cupboard and when people would come over or when you would drink out of it you'd be like oh and you'd and maybe that's what I was trying to go for. Cal put his in the tote bag and I wasn't thinking and I just walked out with it in my hand. Obviously the security was like, you cannot leave with that. And I said, I was like, oh, well I've emptied out everything that was in there. There's no alcohol in there. And they were like, uh, and he looked really annoyed. And I was like, but I love anything for the memory. And I think honestly, he probably thought this girl is sad. I'll just let her take it. Because honestly, he looked at me and he was like, and we just left. That was it. There are these cups. Honestly, you're gonna look at these and you're gonna be like, Mitch, why did you want that? I don't know. I, I actually really like it. So it says TikTok creator atrium. 1000% if I go to VidCon next year, if TikTok are doing a thing there, it's probably gonna be different. It's probably gonna be a different concept. So it's not gonna be the same. If you've watched any sort of VidCon content, I'm so annoyed I didn't film anything, but Cal and I were just so in the moment that we didn't even bother. Sometimes that's really good, but then sometimes it's moments like this where I'm like, I have to try explain it to my friends and my family when I should have just taken a video. They had this 
Squishmallow's human claw machine. You were a human claw machine, like you were strapped in a harness and everything. You would like dangle over a pit of Squishmallows, which is crazy. And you would just go in and you would pick which one you want. And like anyone could do that. We waited in this line for like nearly two hours, but it was so worth it. Callum picked out this. Meet Avery. He's got fluffy hands. He plays for the rugby team and one day he wants to be a coach. So then I go and I'm thinking to myself, I've seen some people with like, you know, the big ones. They're like 24 inch ones. So for size, Avery is 16 inches. So I'm going in, I'm digging and I'm like, I, I need to get a big one. I didn't even think at the time, like how on earth am I gonna bring these back? I just didn't even care. I just wanted a big one. And a big one I got. So meet Samantha. So big, can't even fit in the screen. Little claws, little legs, and the stinger. Spelled like Samantha. She's smart, diplomatic, but can sting you with her sass. She loves music, and she travels the world and speaks six languages. You best believe that she sleeps in bed with me like every single night. I saw that they were selling her for like $90 at Target, and I was like, wow, wow. And I got it for free. And lastly, on the Squishmallows front, they had really small claw machines where like you were actually programming them and they would give you two goes to try get one and if you didn't get one you could just line up again but luckily i didn't get one in my first go but then i got one on my second i got this one and it says embrace your weirdness so yeah just just do that callum got one that was absolutely adorable and callum got one on his first try a little boba and what a beautiful color the next one is for my makeup lovers this one was a dream a bag of Too Faced goodies. The only Too Faced I like. Each bag came with some Too Faced eyelashes. One Better Than Sex mascara, which I love this mascara. It's actually very, very good. Two of the Killer Liner. Total Control 36 hour waterproof eyeliner, which is great. We have one in Killer Caramel. Wow. And then Killer Chocolate. Yeah, as you can see, like they're two different colors. And I'm really looking forward to trying them. We have a pigment lipstick in You Do You and Level Up. They look like this. Open Open it up it's like a heart isn't that so cute can you see that and it says like two faced on it oh my god there we go oh th oh my god that's stunning that's kind of similar to what i'm wearing right now love it this last thing i'm so happy about because cal got two in his and i got one in mine so two of the same shade and then one different one and if you know me i love a lip plumper like i love a plumping gloss because i'm scared of the injection so we have the lip injection maximum plump which is lovely i have used this one before Gorgeous. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my God, I should have worn this. It would have gone with my top. I put some other makeup stuff in here. Pixie were there and they gave out, you know, the Pixie Glow Tonic, which is like their most popular product. I've actually never, ever tried it, but everyone always says it's like a, a staple in their makeup routine, skincare routine. So if you've actually used it, let me know. So sticking in with like makeup, skincare, beauty kind of stuff. I then got this Moroccan oil, which is for all hair types, which I'm really excited to use because because Callum actually Googled this and apparently it's really, really good. So I'm really excited to use it. And then the thing that I was most excited about to receive in one of the boxes, Rare Beauty. Okay, I've heard so much about this. But at the moment, I'm getting through all my blushes because I was going to buy the Rare Beauty blush. Now I have it. How amazing. I can't believe it's in my hands. That is the color. We have a glossy lip balm in nearly rose. That looks so good, doesn't it? It's not gonna focus. Anyway, we have the actual Rare Beauty like makeup bag itself. Bum, ba, da, bum. Another thing that I really wanted to try, it has a mirror inside. It has a, a little like powder thingy what are they called like a, a little sponge and then it's got blot and glow blotting sheets and a hundred sheets in there so i'm really excited to use it the packaging is just beautiful like that looks stunning me meows was there and we got this limited edition creator cats it's got like a bell on it a sharpie it's got like a thing that says like subscribe and a little cat it's really cool because the whole purpose of it is like you take this lid off and then you're like hey like could you please sign my my plush and then people would like sign around it which I think is so fun. Like when I was watching Cal do it, I was like, this is genius. This is a genius idea. And they also gave us a little drawstring bag 
There was also a YouTube bit where I got this YouTube shorts bucket hat that says VidCon 2022 on it. With this one, you could like pick your badge and then they like, you know, do the iron on press thing there. And Cal picked this green like bum bag with a smiley face. And then it also said VidCon 2022. There was also a Spotify after party and it was at Disney California Adventure Park. It was actually at Pixar Pier. We got these hoodies when we got there and it says Spotify after party. And then it has the like actual date that it was and then it has spotify and then on the other side Side, it also says Anaheim, which is where we were. And if you haven't seen, I actually made a YouTube short about it and I made a TikTok about it. I mean, it's the same video, but I've just posted it on both platforms. So please do check it out. It was like an after hours thing. And I just feel like with one of those things, it's like, it's a once in a lifetime thing. You know what I mean? Like not many people will be able to say that they went to Disney when the park closed, you know? And then we have even more bucket hats. Like I said, never have to buy a hat again. There was a really cool Snapchat lounge and they had these bucket hats. One side looked like that and then you could like twist it it was reversible and the other side looked like that. Then Roblox Wow, this one kind of looks really sick. I don't know if it looks good on <gasps> Wait, wait, is this the one and so there was two different kinds that you could pick from there was this one or just a plain black one So we got both next one. There was a room and it was all like sponsored by boohoo It was boohoo stuff and it was one piece per person. Cal, Jack, and Elam all ended up getting the same overshirt. And it's kind of like, what's it called? I don't know, this isn't tie-dye. What is this? Ombre? Ombre. Two-tone ombre, I think. The girls ended up doing the same thing. Whereas actually, I think the boys copied us because we did it first. Nikki, Kara, and I all got the same varsity jacket, which says Chicago on it. And it has a hood, which is good for winter time, I guess. They didn't have a size eight. So I think I sized up by two, I think. But it's kind of nice kind of being a bit, you know, oversized. But it's really cool because the buttons are like, you know, popper buttons. I like it. There was also a meta, meta Facebook thing there. I just really like the bag. Look at that, how fun. Basically, it was a thing where you could like spin the wheel. Well, it was like a spinning bingo thing and whatever color ball you got depended on your prize. Like Nikki got the like Ray-Ban selfie ray-ban camera glasses which was one of the best prizes sadly i walked away which actually not sadly because i really like these some um, like a phone charm thing which i love this one then there was this one which honestly this really matches what i'm wearing today this is the vibe lovely on the same vibe of like iridescent bag invisalign were there you know like invisalign invisalign they were giving away these bum bags that say invisalign if you haven't seen, I made a YouTube short. This was my very, very first one that I ever made. With the YouTube drive through there was also a massive 40-foot gumball machine. If you haven't seen the short, watch the shorts. You can see what the, the gumball machine looks like because it was, it was honestly really, really cool. And you like took a big coin and you twist it. Yeah, watch it so you see what it is. I won Mr. Beast Almond Bar. Cal won the Mr. Beast, just the plain one, like the milk chocolate one. We ate that one whilst we were out there. I think I got this one. I can't remember which one I got. Either way, Cal and I basically got the same prize. Cal got it in orange. Jelly Smack were also there. And we have this Jelly Smack notebook. They also had loads of like merch that you could take. I took this t-shirt, Creator, in purple. Cal got this bucket hat, which says, sorry, I haven't posted in a while, which is literally me. I got the cap that says, sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I feel like this is the story of my life. I come back after like ages and I'm just like, hi. And I just pick up like nothing happened. I also just found this other t-shirt from jelly smack it says the same thing sorry i haven't posted in a while i'll be wearing this every time i come back after a long break we also got these two kind of like wireless chargers well actually you know what i mean like they had a they have a wire that you like plug into something but then you like put your phone on it and it's just like bloop, and it charges finally the very very last thing something i actually don't have much knowledge of actually wait i forgot i got this selfie ring light from the amazon thing it says amazon live on it but yes this is something that I don't really have much knowledge on but Callum was trying to tell me all about it and there was someone at their booth they were literally like take whatever you want and I was like oh no we'll just pick like two things each and then they were like no you can pick five things each and I was just like I got some crew merch I have not felt material like this ever on a jumper. It is the most amazing material ever. Got like little embroidered bits that say like crew district, crew catcher, because it's like a claw machine. I'm annoyed I haven't heard about them before this day. And we also got some pins. I picked this one, which is all of them in the little machine. Callum picked this one. 
That literally wasn't all because we ended up going home with some of the plushies. Cal picked this one because this is the one that he got the pin of. Is, is this their names? Rainbow? Would this be their name? How cute! Actually beautiful. I love it. Also look at the unicorn horn. It's like sparkly. We have crew fam. I, I, these are the names. They might not be the names and this is gonna make me look stupid but I picked this one. <laughs> look at his little outfit. It's got like a hood on. Isn't that just the most adorable thing ever? They're also very very good quality. You guys know I'm not even being sponsored to say any of this stuff is good because I literally just got it for free. And last but not least we have, who's this? Gold. Gold has a crown on but I'm gonna say gold is my favorite. <laughs> That is literally everything, I think. And you know what? If I end up finding something that I didn't include, that probably means that it wasn't of great importance to me. If you had stayed this long, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I hope it was kind of fun and entertaining. Like I said, I just love watching hauls. Sometimes I watch hauls and no one's speaking. They don't even talk. They're just like... And I'm still like... So invested. My camera died. So basically, final last words. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe because literally, why not? It is free. And until next time, I will see you and I see you.